Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Susan, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your QSD platform. There are two ways to set up QSD platform. One I call it the lazy way, which is just download the settings from your dealer and then import it to your QST and everything will be set up. And the second way is the do everything yourself way. You can actually set the whole QST yourself. Like the pages here, I set it up all by myself to suit my preference. So the best way that I think we can set up QST is to first download the settings from your dealer so that your screens match. And second, still learn how to customize the settings yourself so that you can set it up according to your preference when you are more familiar with QST. So QST is actually a very nice platform to use. It has a swift trading experience. You can enter order very quickly. It is colorful and it has all these nice buttons which are easy for the user to use. But just that the starting part is a little bit tricky as there is so much to set up. It is very customizable that it might sound a little bit too confusing to the beginners. But trust me, if you get through the setting stuff part, um, you will like this platform. So let's go with the first way, the lazy way first. So first thing you have to download the settings from your dealer. The way to do it, you can uh, request it from your dealer via email or your dealer can send it to you via WhatsApp. It's just a file that you download. After you download, just go to general, just go to import settings. Okay, you can see that all my files are actually at my desktop, which is the first page it opens when you open the import settings. But some of you might save it in this PC uh, in the download section. So don't forget where you downloaded your file or else you might not be able to find the file. So I'm going to go with my pre-setup settings. Press the settings for client. Click open. And there you have it. Just a few clicks and everything will be set up. So now I'm going to go through the second way. It is very important to go through the second way as well because you would like to customize your platform as well. Different people have different preference. So every user should actually have their own unique settings. If you are interested to learn the settings yourself, I hope you'll enjoy this video. Okay, first I want to go with my first page delete everything first so that I can set up my first page with you I like to have my quote monitor the place where I can see all the prices I need and my uh, orders preview in the second tab so for the first one the quote monitor go to the left bar here and scroll you'll see a quote monitor this orange button give it a click and you get a blank code monitor so the first page I want to set up is the Malaysia products so just type Malaysia or you can type Bursa Malaysia derivative this is the name of the exchange I want to set up for FKLI just click on the first row and add a title if you like I'll just put it as FKLI and the second tab here, I will edit my contracts. So I like to edit my contracts by manually typing the code in. For FKLI, the code here is KLI. And then it will have a few contract month suggestions for you to choose. But for me, I would prefer to type in one minus. Press enter and you'll get the spot month FKLI. And if you want to add the subsequent month, just type KLI2- on the second row. Press enter and you'll get your second month FKLI. Then you can type here like you want to add a title for FCPO as well. You can call it palm oil if you like. Just any name you like. Press OK and you'll get your title. So for palm oil, the code here is MPC. MPC also the same. I don't like to use the suggestions. The reason I don't use the suggestions here is because 
like say I choose December contract and when the December contract expires it wouldn't roll me to a new contract I want it to roll over itself let's say if I set it as MPC 1 minus MPC 2 minus 3 minus and 4 minus this means when the spot month expires then the next one will replace the spot month to be the spot month that means I do not have to do the settings of the code over and over again also for all this code no need to worry about remember all the codes your dealer should have the summary of the codes for all the available products for me I think typing down the codes yourself is much easier than sourcing the contract you can source the contract from here as well it's called the contract lookup but it has all mixed up with all the other available and non-available contracts it's quite confusing so still I recommend adding the code by typing it in yourself okay next page can do a new page like next I want to do like US index click OK and here I can add my Dow Jones code for Dow Jones is YM1 minus and YM2 minus first and second month of Dow Jones and I can have my S&P 500 as well S&P 500 is ES 1 minus ES 2 minus Okay, done with the adding contract. Second, we want to talk about the orders and position monitor. So go to the left hand sidebar, scroll down and you'll see this blue green orders and position monitor. Give it a click and then you'll see this. I usually remove the group. I don't like to have any groupings I click none click OK and here I can see all the orders that I did today cancel expired orders everything so I prefer to see every single thing on my first page it might not suit everyone because if you have everything your first page it might look kind of messy example I have a short contract here then I will see I have a short four lots MPC V which is a uh, October Palmer contract and let's say if I long the Dow Jones let me long the Dow Jones here don't worry about don't worry about order entering we'll have another session about order entering in our next video let's see yes okay and then you will get a working order here the status of the working order will be a new order if you want to cancel it just press the X here press yes and it will show cancelled very convenient tab to use so that's how I deal with my first page oh and one very important thing before you do anything I missed out in the first part make sure you have a paper trading mode here before you do the setup because you don't want to accidentally click on anything that causes an order entry so if you're in a paper trading mode you can click anything you make any mistakes don't worry about it to change the paper trading mode you can click the F7 button on your keyboard so let's say I click once it will change me to live trading I click another time it will change back to the blue connected to paper trading server so that's how you toggle between live and paper trading and next a lot of traders like to have this uh, price ladder in the first page as well the so same thing go to the left hand side bar and scroll until you see a price ladder it's like a ladder over here give it a click and you'll get your price ladder you can see that it's a second price ladder here price ladder 2 because I have added another price ladder in my uh, in my fifth page so some of you like to have price ladder in the first page you can just 
uh, click it on the first page so move on to the second page I have my working order and my completed order so these two order tabs are actually orders and position monitors I just change it to the name I like example I, as you can see I right click and rename you can change the name to any name you like same thing to the completed order I like to name it like this and set it up like this because I want it to be clear that I can see all my remaining working order and all the orders that I completed the way I do it is to go to role filters and filter it for working order I only tick this and then I disable all the tick boxes so it will show me only working orders here but in my completed order I filter it as everything except for the working order and the start of the day positions but I include all the rejected and cancelled orders so if you like to know your filled orders only you may disable all these boxes as well and it will show you your filled orders only so this is how you set up and the third page I have my positions here this tab is actually orders and position monitor as well just that I do a different filter which is the row filters I disable everything only tick the two boxes here and I also do a group by filter which I group by contract so I can see all my net positions by contract over here and the fourth page is my account overview it is actually called an account info in the left hand sidebar so you click it and it will add this tab for you here some of you might like it to be in the second page you can move it to the second page anytime you like but I like it to be in the fourth page you can enlarge this tab enlarge it sometimes it's not easy to find this button out okay I'm just gonna enlarge it to have a better view you can have your net liquidation value here which is the total funds remaining in your account it is a mark to market means that let's say I have this position I have a short four lots palm oil so if the palm oil goes up the price of the palm oil goes up my net liquidation value will decrease because my unrealized losses is increasing that is what it means by mark to market and also another important figure you can see the initial margin here initial margin means the total fund that you need to have in your account in order to hold your open positions so it's a very clear view over here anytime your net liquidation value is less than your initial margin it means that your account is in margin call and you need to either top up or reduce your position and the next page I have my charts you can have the charts in the first page as well you can just disable it press yes go back to our first page and then let's try opening a chart let's say I want to open a Dow Jones chart just go to the contract and right click and go to the charts to see which kind of chart you want to add like the intraday let's try a 30 minutes chart so the chart will be in your first page in no time but take note that in normal subscription you can only have one chart at a time in QSD so you can't open multiple charts I also have my price ladder here for normal subscription of QSD, you may add multiple price ladder as well, maybe three if I'm not wrong. When you just added the price ladder, you might see a lot of not needed info here. In my next video, I will talk about the important settings that you do not want to miss. In that place, we can learn how to do the settings for each and every tab. So be sure to watch the next video for the general settings. Go back to my first page, my hot quotes. Also, these names are able to be renamed. Go to rename and rename it anytime.
So yeah, that's pretty much all of the simple things I can share here with you for setting up QSD platform. Before you log out, be sure to export your settings. It's the same thing as importing the settings, but go to general and click the export settings so that you can save a file in your computer to make sure all your settings is in line when anything goes wrong. So you can go to like just pick a name or just type in the name yourself, click save, and then you will have the settings in your computer. And also when you log out, try and click the X here. Make sure you save your settings in your local hard drive and server. Yep, that's all I want to share today. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you next time.